Speaking Task 1 You will be asked a question about a familiar topic. You will then have 15 seconds to prepare your response, and 45 seconds to speak. Do you agree or disagree that it is important for young people to learn some domestic skills like cooking, sewing, and taking care of children? Prepare your response after the beep. Start speaking after the beep. Speaking Task 2 You will read a short paragraph and then listen to a conversation between two people. You will have 50 seconds to read the paragraph. After, you will get a question about what you read and heard. You will have 30 seconds to prepare your response and then 60 seconds to give it. You have 50 seconds to read. Start reading after the beep. Now listen to the conversation between two people. I know you're a cyclist. You must be excited about these bike lanes. You can bet I am. I am really excited about them. I think it's just the thing that this campus needed. So you think they were necessary? Well, I wouldn't say that they were necessary from the safety standpoint. I was never afraid of cars when I was on my bicycle. The drivers are quite careful, and they drive slowly. Yeah, that's true. There's no need to rush when you drive your car on campus. Everything is close by. But the funny thing is, more students will join because they perceive it to be safer and not because they want to join in on the greening of the campus. What do you mean? Even though cycling is safe on campus, people that don't ride bicycles think it's not safe and they are afraid to try it. Now with these bike lanes, they will feel comfortable to try cycling out. Who knows? Maybe I'll just give it a try as well. I have an old bicycle just for you. What does the female student think about the bike lanes? Prepare your response after the beep. Start speaking after the beep.
Speaking Task 3 You will read a short paragraph about an academic topic then listen to a lecture about it. You will have 50 seconds to read the paragraph. After, you will get a question about what you read and heard. You will have 30 seconds to prepare your response and then 60 seconds to give it. You have 50 seconds to read. Start reading after the beep. Now listen to the lecture. It is difficult to define social cognition, but for the most part, it refers to the process of perceiving and understanding the other people and how we see the world around us. The mental processes we are talking about are involved in perceiving, remembering, and thinking about our social world. Social cognition is really important to us in order to be a functioning member of a society. Social cognition can vary from culture to culture, so we need to be in tune with our own environment in order to give good signals that we understand and that we will act accordingly. One example of this could be how we interpret a smile. In some cultures, when another member of society smiles at us, we could understand that as them showing interest in us that they would want us to approach and start a conversation, and we could choose to do so. Whereas in another culture, a smile could be something that is required in any social occasion. So seeing it on someone else's face could simply mean that they are being polite and nothing else. So just smiling back would be an appropriate response. Physical contact is another thing we need to look at. In some places, physical contact in an everyday setting might be a sign of dominance and aggression. In such cultures, there is a lack of it. When a member of this society feels it, they think that they might need to fight or retreat. But in other cultures, physical contact is abundantly present and is a sign of affection and friendship. In these environments, a hand on the shoulder or a strong tap on the back might be an indicator of friendly intentions and not hostile ones, whereas in the previously mentioned culture, it would be perceived as an attack. Explain the concept of social cognition that the professor talks about. Use points and examples from the lecture. Prepare your response after the beep. Start speaking after the beep.
you will listen to a lecture about an academic topic. After, you will get a question about what you heard. You will have 20 seconds to prepare your response and then 60 seconds to give it. Now listen to the lecture. Art can provide a great vehicle for protest. There have been many examples through history of open, as well as silent, dissent against the established order of things. Throughout the history of social movements and social revolt, art has always reacted against oppression, violence, injustice, and inequalities. Addressing social and political issues, as well as challenging the traditional boundaries and hierarchies that were imposed. Art can create space for the marginalized to be seen and heard. A lot of individuals have used their work to make a lasting impact in the global struggle against authoritarianism. Art has been used to elicit strong emotions. So what better way to mobilize and galvanize people against the things that are wrong in our surroundings? One great example of protest art was the fountain by a French artist called Marcel. It was a simple urinal with the name R. Mutt and the year 1917 written on it. 1917 was the year in which World War I was still raging on. R. Mutt sounds the same like the German word for poverty, and it suggested that the message of the artist was that this war was fought by the poor, whose lives seemed to have no values for the benefit of the rich. Banksy is another artist whose work is seen as a rebellion against consumerism. He made a painting which was set to be destroyed as it was auctioned off. He probably wanted to say how art doesn't have a price and shouldn't be sold as a commodity like that. But even so, the remains of said painting were sold for millions of dollars at that auction. Describe the nonspecific defenses and specific defenses that the professor talks about. Prepare your response after the beep. Start speaking after the beep.